and welcome back to another Interviewer video. Today, we are talking about a coastal system or systems of low pressure that will be bringing plenty of rainfall to the entirety of the East Coast over the next couple of days. So, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and the bell. Now, let's get right on into it. We're starting off with today's excessive rainfall outlook, and you can see that there is marginal and slight risks all up and down the east coast marginal risk is five to ten percent chance of exceeding flash flood guidance and slight is ten to twenty percent chance of exceeding flash flood guidance so that's just a measure of the confidence of excessive rainfall within the next 24 hours so let's take a look at a couple of models showcasing this system. So we're going to start off with the NAM 3 kilometer model and we're going to zoom in here to the eastern US. And you can see that there's an area of low pressure here in South Carolina, but there's also other troughs and a stationary front right along the east coast. Now you can see that there's plenty of rainfall here, mostly located off the coast, but areas of South Carolina and North Carolina will see plenty of rainfall throughout the day today as the system moves through and eventually later on tonight we can see this start to move up into new england and bring some heavy rainfall to areas of eastern connecticut rhode island eastern massachusetts even up into maine as well moving into thursday now that one push isn't all, all of it but we do have a secondary push here as all of this starts to move off the coast you can see as stationary front starts to move away very 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 slowly now here is the H triple R model here and basically we just see a very similar scenario but there is a chance that as this all moves further up the coast that we see everything kind of weak and further to the east now there's also other models that are showing this further to the west so if you're living in any of the coastal areas of the east coast from south carolina all the way up to maine just be on the lookout for some flash flood warnings flash flood watches throughout the next uh, 36 to 48 hours depending on where you live uh, some areas are going to be wrapping up especially in South Carolina North Carolina and Virginia will be wrapping up within the next 18 to 24 hours with all of this so just be on the lookout for those threats let's take a look at the estimated precipitation amounts for both of these models so let's just compare the two now you can see that they're very similar especially down in North Carolina showing two to six even more than that in the very coastal areas of the Outer Banks that is very consistent between both the models now the big difference here is up in New England where you can see that the HRRR model has everything pushed off very far to the east with the two inches of rain being consistent in the Cape Cod area, but that's about it. On the NAM, you can see that Rhode Island, Eastern Long Island, Southeast Connecticut, the entire Eastern shore of Long Island, even up into down East Maine is getting into that two inch mark of rain. And again, I, I didn't want to show the European model based on, you know, the precision, but there's other models including the European that shows even further west, bringing the entirety of the New Jersey coastline, the entire New York City metropolitan area into that heavy rain risk. So there's plenty of possibilities here. We just have to be on the lookout for them. But that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.